been my seven years football fan, so be able to go over there and play on the pitch that they'll play on this during the World Cup. And uh, it was awesome. I love it every game. Front row right here, right hand side, Mark. Well, uh, Mark Virginia Bayer in Israel. What was your favorite moment this summer in Qatar or China or your camp? Uh, my camp is a ton of fun. Just being around kids is a great time. Uh, probably the Thompson Bay Foundation Golf Tournament. That was so much fun. Shout out to TPC Harding Park for hosting us. And uh, I played great too, so that always helps. But uh, just a fun day, of course. Great cause. Center here, Connor. So you talked this time last year about how your goal was to be to make the 50-40-90 club. Is that still a goal, or do you have a specific goal for this season? Uh, to make that club, it's a three-peat. Those are all my two goals. That would be pretty, pretty. Uh, that would be a great year. Next question for place left hand side, front row, Anthony. They kind of joke when DeMarcus signed on that you might not even know and that you weren't even part of the recruiting process. Um, I, I assume you obviously at least were following them. Maybe, but do you, do you ever want to be part of those set like, free agency recruiting stuff or just kind of content with whatever happens happening? Um, I was ecstatic to hear that DeMarcus was coming on board. Talked to him, but it's like we have Mr. B. I've been his teammate twice with USA Basketball, and I've had great experience with him. And I'm looking forward to continue, continuing those experiences this year because it's going to be a long year. And, uh, I know he's going to help us get to where we need to go. He's so talented. Left hand side, front row. Tim. I'll follow up for Anthony on how did, how did you find out that, that the Marcus is signed? Text me. And then Bob Myers text me. So it was pretty simple. Well, like obviously you've got your contract expiring next summer. I know you don't like a big deal made about it, but the Warriors have said they would like their, they want to talk to you about doing the deal before. Uh, what, what's the likelihood in your mind that you do have a deal done before it expires? Uh, I'm not sure. That's why I got that's why I got my agent. He helps me with these things, especially that's when he really gets what he's worth during this time, these times. But uh, as long as uh, he is more in uniform uh, we're, and we're able to compete with championships, that's where my sole focus is on is just trying to get this done, win another championship, and enjoy the ride along the way because it goes by fast. Second row, left hand side, Phil. Clay, you just mentioned enjoying the ride along the way, and Bob Myers and Steve Kerr both said some similar things looking ahead to this season. How do you balance that with the obvious discipline that it takes to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I think it just comes with um, just having a healthy appreciation of the game of basketball and a love for the game that wavers, you know, during tumultuous times. And I think with our team, we're lucky because our best players truly love the game. That has a trickle down effect to every, every single man on this team, as well as the front office and the training staff and the coaches. So, uh, although you want to look to the future and think, oh, we can, you know, cement ourselves as one of the greatest dynasties ever if we do this. Uh, you got to fight that urge as hard as you can because we are very lucky to play on a team that gets the attention we do, especially on the road, going to these different arenas and having to sell out every night is something that we don't take for granted. So that's what I mean about enjoying the ride. Just uh, don't try and shortcut it to the playoffs or the finals. Just try and, even this Saturday with our first preseason game, just try to enjoy every minute we get of you know, this attention because it doesn't last forever. Front row, left hand side, money. Play as much fun as you've had with this group and as much as you guys have accomplished, uh, is there a part of you that's at least curious about what it's like to be a free agent? Because you've never been that, never been one before. Uh, to be honest, not really. 
I think when guys go on a free agency, they're searching for a situation like mine or similar to our team. So I'm uh, perfectly content here. Just, uh, just looking around the walls and all the art and see how it's a part of this buildup is pretty, uh, just what keeps me motivated because I'm wanting to be a warrior for my whole career. Uh, back uh, left hand corner, Felicia, the table. Hi, Clay. postseason compared to previous years and also can you talk about as you play your final year at uh, Oracle Arena what has been your most memorable moment at Oracle and I like to hear by the way thank you <laughs> I appreciate that how did I change ah. I mean I think I was more comfortable last postseason with speaking up more than I ever had been in the past and um Especially when our backs were against the wall, against the Rockets. I was pretty vocal in those last couple games, so that might have been a big change for me. And as far as uh, Oracle Arena, it's very bittersweet to be leaving. You know, that's, my whole NBA career has been in that building. Uh, the fans have been so great. The staff who works there has been amazing, especially the security teams. I've known so many of those guys my whole life, I mean, my whole career. And uh, my favorite memories, there's so many. It's really hard to pick one. Ring nights are always fun, but I remember the first playoff series we ever had there against the uh, Denver Nuggets. My, my first playoff series, that was a ton of fun just because uh, they've been itching to get back to the postseason for about six years at a time, five, six years. So it was uh, the hype was well worth it because it was so loud in there. And it's my first taste of playoff basketball, so it was probably my, my best memories of that first, my first playoff run. Anything else for play? Great, thank you, appreciate that.